Hi, this is Adam with New Wave Aquaponics. I'm making this video to show you how day one went of integration of the vertical grow garden and the flood and ebb IBC tote system. I'm sure by this point you're asking yourself, nice garden, why is it leaking so much water? Well actually I can explain. The end caps for the fill side of each pipe have been bonded in place. And the exit water ports for each pipe have not been bonded in place. And the reason for that is by doing this, it allows me to rotate the cap ends to set the height of the exit water from each one of the pipes and I'm pretty close to having it set just about where I want it. The next phase will be to completely drain the system and dry off the end caps and permanently bond them in place. The other thing that I have found out is that the water return line from its neighboring pipe above it needs, that's this tube right here, needs to be trimmed at a height that's just above the water inside the pipe. By doing that, it allows for maximum flow from pipe to pipe. The other thing that's critical, which is pretty obvious, is that each one of the holes that are going to house the grow pots need to be as horizontal and in line with each other as possible. I've done a good job at this and I have one violator which is this one right here which you can see is slightly overflowing. So to remedy this I can either shim the pipe here or rotate the exhaust cap and that's ultimately what I'm going to do is just rotate the exhaust cap overall the system seems to be running relatively well it's doing what I'm trying to do I installed a piece of vinyl clear tubing on the return line just so I can see the water flow which I don't know if you can see it in this video or not just so I can see the water flow heading back to the tank. It was easy to install. I simply tapped off of the existing supply from the sump pump. Did some modifications. Added an additional set of valving. I don't know how well you can see that. and just send it straight back to the back of the tank. The return line is located over in that far corner. I'm not sure if it's showing up on the video. Again, I'm using a 1000 GPH pump and the vertical garden has very little effect on the flood and ebb system or the swell filter. So there you have it. Within the next day or two, I'll completely drain it. I'm anticipating approximately four and a half gallons of water to come out of the system when I shut it off and return back to the fish tank. My calculations show I should be at about 9.75 gallons to operate the system completely full.
and this is the location for the raft system which will be coming as soon as I complete this vertical garden. So there you have it. If you have any questions, shoot me off an email or check out my website www.newwaveaquaponics.com.